Hello everyone, welcome to another video, I am Veos, and today we're going to build a type of space truck. It's been a while since I've done this, and there was one design that I really really liked, that I built a long time ago. Damn, this game is old and so am I. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so the idea here is that it's kind of like a long space trucker. Probably um, will ship them from planet to moon, not necessarily from planet to planet, because that would take a very long time. And I think something like that would be more along the lines of like a cargo liner in today's world with uh, like a sea seafaring cargo ship would be the kind of ship that you would expect to carry large payloads to other worlds whereas this one is more like a uh, interstate 18 wheeler with a cab in the back so basically just capable of sending cargo from uh, uh, the like the orbit around Kerbin to the moon or Minmus, or in the Jewel, Jewel system, kind of going back and forth between moons, that kind of thing. So that's docking, and underneath I was going to put like an escape pod system. In the very back, it'd be like an escape pod system, just in case something horrible happened. They, the Kerbal has some, some means of surviving. Can that fit? Of course not. Okay, never mind. That's a big ball. Can this fit? Of course not. Well, looks like we get to play with that one again. Can this fit? Probably not. Nope, didn't think so. That one fits just nicely. Okay. Alright, so what I'm doing now is I'm actually making the escape pod so that I can get the center of mass and everything correct. Because that's what's going to make it or break it when it's launched out of the craft. Okay, so that's pretty much what I thought it would be. But we're not done yet, so let's keep on putting stuff on here. We're going to need some RCS fuel, power, typical stuff. We'll have to check to make sure that the hatch is not obstructed. All right, I figured that would change. All right, there we go, that works. Yeah, see I would use these wings, these Delta wings, but they only hold 300 liquid fuel, whereas just one, just one of these suckers, these uh, liquid fuel fuselage holds 400. So it's, it's not even worth it for the extra weight. Not even worth it. Mass is 0 0.5, so 0.89. 0.12 so 8.9 then 12.9 it's only about four tons with both of these on hmm okay hold on as soon as i slap these on it's 13.42 which is only a ton more so about five tons but it carries more all right so i take that back not much difference in weight not much difference in weight maybe we can use these problem is they're just so damn big there's they're so damn big big i mean that might work <laughs> yeah 264 delta v we wouldn't be able to go anywhere okay 1200 delta v now for orange tank i don't know it just seems really out of place like it's way too long and it just doesn't just doesn't fit because mm. see with me something can work just fine but if it looks like crap then it doesn't sit well with me and then that's not gonna work Okay, so the wings weigh about 0.3 tons, and these weigh about, I mean, the wings weigh 0.2 tons, and these weigh 0.3, but they cover more mass, so I can use those as kind of like a, kind of like a deflector, because you have to remember in space, the plume of the rocket goes out in every single direction, which means that it would hit the cargo as it comes out. The heat would slowly but surely fry the side of the cargo, so we have to have some means of protecting it. Well, I thought that was gonna work, but it's it's not. It's really, 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 really not. Switch it up a little bit. There's no reason why we can't make this thing look nice. Okay, there we go. That looks so much better. I like it. I like it a lot.
All right, that'll work. I mean, it's not it's not the best, and uh, I'm probably going to change it later, but it'll definitely work for a starter. Now, the one thing that is kind of bugging me is just how wide these engines are, right? I mean, I could try to bring it in a little bit. That might work. That might work. It's not the best thing in the world, but it might work. Okay, so now that we've got the, the the sort of the main body. So it's wide in the back, which means that it's as long as it's 36 tons, it could carry something that's even bigger, that's wider. It could carry cargo that's, you know, uh, three times as wide. So whatever the cargo might be, it can carry it within this spot right in here. So that's kind of the idea of that. Now, Vernor engines would probably be our best bet with this. I don't see this really working out too well with uh, mono propellant it might it's not a small craft it's uh, very heavy 81 tons so far so i don't know about no mono i don't know about no mono mono propellant yeah i don't know about that okay so right around here that's our area of effect okay our delta v didn't go down that much and that's lots of monopropellant. We might not even need that much, but I'm just going to put it on there just to be safe. That's the only bad thing about these Vernor engines is how they're shaped. It's They're shaped like crap. They really, really are. Why can't they be shaped like a normal... Just give me a ball, damn it. Sucks. Alright, so unfortunately, because this design is a little wonky, I'm not going to be able to do what I normally do with my RCS thrust, which is uh, put down eight points of RCS RCS thrust and have them pointing out in 45 degree angle around the ship so it covers every single degree. We're gonna have to split it up a little bit and put down a little bit more um, RCS thrusters. Unfortunately. It's just it's just a fact of life. Okay, that's forward motion. We've already got we've already got everything covered with these the way they're shaped. So we've got up and down, left and right, back, but not forth. So we need up and down over here as well. A little bit unfortunate, but it's it's it is what it is, unfortunately. I mean I could put but it's just so flat and squared it wouldn't look right. I don't know. I don't know guys, I might go for a monopropellant. I might go for a monopropellant thing. We'll see. Because I know for a fact I could take this monopropellant RCS port, put it right here, and then make it exactly what I need it to be, which is a 45 degree angle this way, and then a 45 degree angle this way, which would make it perfect. I just put one here on the corner, here on the corner, and boom, we're done. And over here it's on the corner, same thing on the corner right here, and boom, we're done. And it looks so nice. It would look so, so nice. But since we're dealing with so much weight, having RCS ports uh, run by mono propellant would not be ideal at all. Thrust power of 2.0. Geez, these are even worse. It says thrust power of 12.0. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I don't know. You know what? Let's... Gosh, damn it. Okay, let's do this. Let's go ahead and use monopropellant because this is killing me. I don't know why, but it is. I'd rather use Vernor, but to be honest, uh, we can go... We can go without Vernor. We can we can use mono. We just have to be we just have to be really patient <laughs> because it's gonna move so damn slow. It's gonna move so damn slow. Oh, what else can I mess up on this thing? You know what would look pretty neat would be like a spoiler on this thing. Let's do this before I forget. All right, that'll work. Hopefully, with any luck. Those panels look so weak sitting out there. You know, they, they, they look like they would just flap around. And it's actually really bothering me. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. But uh, as someone who deals with engineering and construction, these panels look like they would wobble. Just sit there and wobble under the, under the force of engines and RCS ports. They, they really need support. They really need something right here, kind of a backbone. Oh, it's driving me nuts. I can't. I can't anymore. I'm sorry, guys. I, I can't. I need, I need, this is gonna kill me. I need something to put, I need to put something there. This is gonna just completely wreck me if I don't do something quick. All right, that feels a little better. Hold up. Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe I can use wings instead. It feels a little better. Not by much, though. I don't know. Uh, something about it is just bothering me. I don't know. 
I don't, I can't put my finger on it, but something about it is bothering the hell out of me. What the hell? Is it just not working for me with this slope thing going on? Hmm. Well, I've got to figure it out quick because I'm running out of time. I got to figure this sh stuff out soon. I think it's the, the lack of s simplicity and it's just, there's like too much going on or something. There we go. Okay, I am so glad. I am so glad I kept going at it. Okay, so the our SRS, <laughs> SRS, SRS, which is like RCS. Good lord. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> I don't know why. It's, whoa, it's crooked. Something like this, right? Look at that. Oh man, that's straight out of like, a, like a, some sort of freaking anime book. But anyway, I'm gonna have to do this. Uh, I'm gonna have to um, uh, do another video on this because I'm all out of time. But thank you guys so much. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. This is gonna be part one of the space truck that we're working on. Hell, we might even be able to, depending on you know the range, we might be able to like double this thing up. You know, something like that maybe. We'll see. We'll see. All right, everyone, have a good day, and I'll see you all tomorrow with part two of this space truck thingamajig. And we we need a name for it too. So if you have any name ideas, put them in the comments below. I read all your comments. And yeah, love you all. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Share, like, and subscribe. La 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 la.